here's a real life example um, this um, in case you haven't heard of dipole bound anions these are just um, molecular anions where uh, an excess electron is bound to a neutral host let's say a molecule like this which is butane nitrile one of the isomers of butane nitrile and um, the pink arrow here um, shows the dipole moment and this is the positive end of the dipole moment if this dipole moment is large enough it can bind an electron and this blob here is the orbital occupied by this excess electron so let's look at the electron binding energies at various levels of theory and we will start with the Kupmann's theorem of course let's pick this molecule which should be this one here butane nitrile number one at Kupmann's theorem level we have a binding energies of 3.54 uh, milli electron volts and uh, here I have again the electron binding energy this time at the Hartree-Fock level uh, what does this mean? it means that I have done the Hartree-Fock calculation for both the neutral case and the anion and I have taken the difference in energies while here at Kupmann's theorem I have only worked with um, with the neutral host and I have looked at the energy of the lowest unoccupied molecular orbital of the neutral molecule of course in our case uh, the sign of the LUMO is negative telling us that the excess electron is bound in the dipole field of the neutral molecule by the way in this table what I call electron binding energy or electron affinity is actually vertical attachment energy because all the calculations were done at the geometry of the neutral so you can see that these two numbers are pretty close and this tells us that there is not appreciable um, relaxation of the orbitals once we put this excess electron uh, into this orbital well that makes sense because um, dipole bound anions in, in dipole bound anions the electron is bound in an orbital which is outside of the molecular frame um, and is usually very diffuse so it's not it's not a valence bound um, state okay now um, we also said that Kupmann's theorem neglects electron correlation and let's see what the effect of electron correlation is here's the binding energy at mp2 level we can see that um, there is a there's an important change in the electron binding energy um, and if we would like to look at the electron correlation correlation at higher orders here are some coupled cluster results this is uh, CCSD and this is uh, CCSD with triples correction you can see the huge gap um, in, in, um, in binding energies which tells us that in our case electron correlation is very important and Kupmann's theorem um, is not quantitatively correct now this was uh, just one example however if you look more carefully into the table here you can see that this is a general trend within this set of molecules